Hi guys. I uh, <clears throat> just cleared my throat. I spent the uh, well, at least the afternoon at Mum's. Uh, helped stepdad cut some glass for the uh, sump tank for his marine fish tank he's putting together. He's done a very good job of that. I'll have to remember to take my camera. Uh, so he's got most of that done. We'll save most of it. He's getting there at least. Uh, actually feeling a bit peckish. But, I'm not sure I've got any bread. <laughs> I forgot to get a loaf when I was uh, in Lidl's earlier. Not to worry, if not, I'll just have to stay peckish till the morning. I want to throw some sausage, a couple of sausages on the bloody thingamajig. Foreman grill. <laughs> Hello, you. Anyway, I did take a trip to the recycling centre on my way over, and uh, there was absolutely sod all there. There was barely any kids' bikes there. Actually, there was one. Well, two if you count the BMX that I came home with. Because um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up the two kids' ones downstairs and the BMX and get all them in clean, tidy, functioning condition, and I'll put them on eBay. And I'll put them on a one month listing as a buy it now. Because I can only put ten items on a month, so I figured I might as well do that. And uh, do the same with the uh, ladies' mountain bike thing I've got. But uh, the BMX bike wasn't the only thing I came home with. The BMX bike cost me five pounds, which is the um, usual price. But I also came home with this case that was in their shop. More connects for my connects box. <laughs> this one actually came with um, a couple of motors and battery packs. There's no covers, but I ain't worried about that. Not when a whole box cost me 50 pence. Um, which is, I don't know, about dollar, dollar fifty in the US, something like that. Give or take. So yeah, I can't argue. I found a couple of uh, bent rods in here, but and there's some that's been chewed like that one. But it's not, you know, it's not in a non-use... Oh, that one's bent, actually. I'm going to have to go through these and just see if I can find any bent ones like that one. But, uh, again, you know, for 50p, I don't mind throwing a few out like that. <laughs> I don't mind. That's a good deal. Uh, right, got myself a couple of models. Uh, my left arm is plowing me up something chronic. I don't know what the fuck I've done with to it, but lifting is a pain in the ass at the minute. Or should I say, a pain in the arm? Anyway, we're not done bugger all in here. Still got four legs to make if I can find the wood. I've got two long bits in the um, cupboard up here, but I'm not sure if they're going to be good enough to use. <sighs> it still looks like a mess in here, but uh, I think it's just, it's not as bad as it looks. You know, that can go, this uh, computer desk, I don't, I've got no use for it now, and all the keyboard drawers broken, so I might as well get rid of it. And then that chest of drawers can just uh, sit in here. Out of Zive. Right. Uh. Oh, when I was in Lidl earlier, they did have an LED light fitting. But, um, I did think about putting up there. Uh, but the problem is the bulbs are all built into the unit they're not changeable um, so pretty much once they die the whole unit would need changing unless I decided to uh, you know jerry rig my own light bulbs into it 
<laughs> but it is tempting because I do want something different other than what I've got up there at the moment. Because uh, fluorescent lights can cause damage to white plastic as well. Because I do give off a bit of UV. So, uh, and I would prefer LED up there. Um, I'm also looking on eBay at the moment. I'm watching one, but I want some LED tape, tape reels. Um, well, I could do a two one meter lengths, one to go under that shelf and one to go under that one. That would save joining them. Well, I think they're about a meter. I'd have to measure them. But, um, you can get stuff that you cut to length. Then I'd have to arrange a power supply and get a driver and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but I suppose that wouldn't be too difficult. And that would be, um, nice to get some under these shelves to light up the display. It's my stepdad that gave me the idea because he's used them on his railway layout and uh, on his um, I was going to be using them on his marine fish tank for the lighting in that he's bought a couple of reels um, so I thought about doing the same thing but I do want to change his proxy light fit and I do want to put LED reflector bulbs in that light fitting up there I've taken the coloured ones out as it's not Christmas anymore and I've put one in, standard filament bulb, because uh, I fixed this table yesterday. That's why I'm getting rid of the one in the bedroom because I've managed to get the wheel back on this. I just moved the wheel along and screwed it into some fresh wood. So that's breathed a little bit more life into that table at least. But yeah, I was using those for a bit of light. Um, yeah. <laughs> waiting for those. Well, waiting another couple of hours before I turn those on to charge. <sighs> so I don't think I'll be doing much tomorrow, not with my arm. Um... What the hell I've done to it? Trapped a nerve or something, but it's ticking me off. Yeah, I could do some light work, like uh, get the legs cut for that. And I could probably shunt around a few light things, or things that I can do with my right arm, like move these, but I can't do anything heavy with it at the moment. Well, that's easy to move, because that just rolls on wheels, as does that. Uh, but that's got to be broken up anyway, because, well... The metal legs I can scrap. I need to sort the scrap on that trailer, actually. <clears throat> at some point. But uh, at the moment, I want to concentrate on getting some bikes done, so... I think the plan, for the time being... Or at least tomorrow, if I can drag my ass out of bed early enough, is to. I don't remember where the hell I was going with that. Oh, yeah, try and make a bit of floor space in here. If I can get those two legs in there, then I can at least put a bit of weight on there. Actually, I think a couple those computer cases can um, go in the kitchen under the cabinet. I've got a couple under here that, well, are empty. That will give me a bit of room and I could tuck the laptops under there, out of the way. I've got the cat stored under there as well. <laughs> I've got all the cables to connect up to this one still. And find my switch so I, c I can uh, connect the... Uh, Windows 7 up as well. But I'm going to need another cable because I think I've only got one for the switch. I was about to stop the video instead of turning the LEDs off. Wrong button that would have been. 
Right. I'll be going to Mum's likely again Sunday. And I'll take those two doors I've got in the hallway over. Get those chopped in half to make four shells and I'll get those up during next week. They will go up. Don't think I'll get all three sections, but if I could do it so I could get two sections up there end to end, and that would be a bonus. And give me some storage space and I can get rid of that stupid thing. Oh yeah, I mustn't forget I've got to get some shelf brackets if I'm going to do that. Uh, and I could. put two up this side actually, end to end, although that means moving that speaker, and I actually like the speaker up there, yeah. <laughs> that's a problem, I think that would actually be a bit too high wouldn't it, I was also thinking, possibly, maybe, doing away with this um, bookcase, once I've got things shifted off of this of course, because when I get the other shelves up, I can move all the Lego on here, and there'll probably be a place for the videotapes in the bedroom and whatnot, so it'll be pretty much an empty bookcase that I could uh, take out of there, which I very much likely will. So, I don't know where I'll put some stuff on there, I don't know where I'm going to put, but... I will think of something, and then I've got to find some wood to make a low table up in here, so I can um, build me beach, or I could put a little port in there or something. Actually, I've got an idea. I will need more blue base plates, but yeah, I've got an idea. It'll work. <laughs> um, what did I do with that CCTV camera? I moved the damn thing earlier. There. I was actually thinking of uh, doing a video where I actually open that up and we have a look on the inside. If I can open that up. Oh, we've got two screws there. One there. One on the side here. Ah. I can indeed, because this top cover comes off, or bottom cover comes off, I should say. Yeah, there's two screws on this side, two on the top here, and two down that side. Yeah, alright then. I can indeed, it looks like, get into it. I'm not sure about the lens. Oh, yep, I can take that apart as well. Okay. That's a, that's a video for when I've got time. We can have a look inside that and see what makes it tick. Apart from a lot of electronic doodads and gizmos. I've got those scales. They can... Uh, they're not going to go under that shelf, are they? Otherwise I'd have slid them under there. Damn! <laughs> Actually, my amplifiers might, or at least one of them will. I can tuck under there. There's some more items I could uh, stick under here. I've got the other items under the corner of the bed I could stick under here. Because those PC games are not staying there, and box of lights won't stay there. So I'll have space there. Yeah, I could uh, plonk those VCRs. I may even. It's a shame that connects won't go under the bloody bed. But, uh, oh well. I'm going to put a shelf up here. In fact, I could put one of those dark brown shelves up there. Uh, and perhaps stand some of my loose lamps over there on it. And down here. And again, for a bit of lighting up that corner, I could put a um, LED strip underneath it. I don't know. So many decisions. 
Yeah, actually, I may actually get all three of those PCs under there in the kitchen because I've got plenty of room underneath that kitchen cabinet and that's just space going to waste at the moment so if I can store things under there that I barely use I might as well and there's two empty cases and an XP machine that I suppose I could actually get rid of actually oh no I don't know why I kept it I think yeah because I did the, an 1100, a 4600, and a, is it 2400, I think. Three different there, 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 there. Three different Dells. Four, if I count that one up there. The iMac. And I've got the Apple. Was it the GMAC? I can't remember now. I know it's, it's a um, server PC, an Apple server PC, and that's in that cupboard that can stay in there. Right. Even my little brother suggested um, I could do some extra lighting when I'm doing certain things on video, like taking things apart. Which is why I'm going to get the uh, spotlight on that post. On that post. It's actually a floor lamp, that's what it was. And it's still going to technically be used as a floor lamp. I'm just going to change the light on the top. Top. Not squeaky voice. Top. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> right. That's it. <laughs> Not a lot else to talk about. So, uh, well, thanks a lot for watching. Show you me ugly mug so you know it's me. I'm not some random person I've voiced over. <laughs> yeah. Not sure what I'll get up to tomorrow. Um, yeah, this machine is all set up at least. Anyway. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to, please, and thank you. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.